And with, in terms of workforce, what do you think? Are there any particular issues you foresee in terms of attracting and retaining you know, talent in the industry? Well, we have. Um, and there's two dimensions to that. We have. We have a great opportunity here because we're such an attractive employer with our academic, uh, our tertiary specialties and whatnot. So we don't have too much trouble in terms of the medical side of things. But the nursing workforce is a big problem for us. Because what we're asking the nursing workforce to do is, is change the way they're working to cover off some of the uh, traditional medical roles. So we're asking them to take on nurse specialist roles. And of course that's taking very senior decision making and senior thinkers out of the the standard nursing workforce and replacing them continuously, getting the numbers coming through, uh, is very difficult. Health is a very labour intensive uh, um, business. A lot of our spend, a lot of the, a lot of the finance is underpinned by what we spend on our labour market, and nurses are the biggest part of that market. So that coming back to that resource demand, the, the financial challenges that all health systems face. Are really, are really driven in large part by the workforce that you need to produce the level of quality that we all aspire to. And that's the challenge in workforce as to how we continue to provide that quality uh, and, and underpin that with, with the sustainable resource utilisation. Mm. And, and, and I guess optimise your sort of productivity without compromising the quality of care. Yeah, well, absolutely. So finding smarter and better ways of working. So IT, for instance, is a critical part of that of having sophisticated IT systems, the electronic health record, the joined up information so that, so that we can take a whole swathe of work away from people, free up time, increase productivity without increasing numbers obviously. Mm -hmm. Very important.